Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today I'm going to show you how to carry out 3D Pythagoras in a cuboid. Okay, so let's have a look at the cuboid which we have here. So we've got a cuboid which is 6 by 3 by 2. And our first question is to work out the side length A to C. So I'm just going to mark that one in the diagram. So A to C is this line here. Okay, so the right angle triangle I'm going to use to work out A to C is going to be A, B, C. So it's this right angle triangle on the bottom. So the reason why I'm using this one is because I've got two sides of the right angle triangle, which are six and three. Um, if you can't see this, I'm just going to draw out the right angle triangle um, which makes it easier to do. So it's always a good idea to do a little sketch. So we've got A to B which is 6, we've got B to C which is 3, and we're working out A to C. So as you can see we've got a right angle triangle, we've got two sides, and we can use Pythagoras to find the third side. So to do Pythagoras then we square the sides, so 3 squared is 3 threes which are 9, 6 squared is 6 sixes which are 36. Since that is the longest side we add these together which is 45 and then we square out the answer 45. I'm just going to put that on the calculator, so square root of 45. Uh, it simplifies that third to 3 root 5. Um, if you want it as a decimal, um, it will be 6.71. Uh, normally it's best to leave the answers in third form. Uh, because sometimes you have to use that for the next part of the question. And if it's in third form, the next answer will be more precise. Okay, so let's have a look at part B then. So we've got to work out A to G. So again, I'm just going to mark that in the diagram A to G. The right angle triangle I'm going to use this time to work out A to G then is going to be A, C, G. So it's that one there. So that's because I've got C to G which is 2 and I've just worked out A to C which is 3 root 5. So I'm just going to draw that triangle out again just to make it clear what we're doing. So we've got A to C which is uh, 3 root 5 and we've got C to G which is 2 and we're after the A to G aren't we? So that's the one we're after. So again it's going to be alongside Pythagoras because uh, we've got the two sides. It's a right angle triangle and we need the third side. So we square our sides. 2 squared is 4. Uh, 3 root 5, we've got a square. If you use your calculator, make sure you put it in a bracket. I'm going to do this by hand now. So 3 3 is a 9. Root 5 times root 5 is 5. 9 times 5 is 45, and then we've got to square out the answer. Sorry, before we do that, we've got to add these together. I'm going to step ahead. So 45 add 4 is 49. Then we square out that answer. So square out 49 is 7. So HG is 7 centimetres. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.